Hi, this is Trey from SoFly. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a custom sales report using WP All Export that will track your sales in Google Sheets as well as send you an email report each week. So I'm going to create a new export here. I'm going to choose WooCommerce orders from the dropdown. I'm going to add filtering options to make sure that I only get completed orders. So we need to select the element order status equals WC completed. I'm going to add that rule and that takes us down to eight orders. So we'll continue. And on this page is where you'll decide what data you want to include in the report. On the right's the data that you can drag over. So under order I'm going to grab the order total, the um, completed date, that's it for the order, customer section, I'll grab the first name, in the last name and in the items section I will get the product name, the SKU, the variation details, and the quantity. Down here you can select different options for your export file. I'm going to export this as an XLS. Display each product in its own row. We'll do that. Or you can fill in empty columns. We're going to continue. And here we're going to select to only export orders once. And this will make sure that each week when we run this, it only exports new orders. It will not export records that have already been exported. So let's select that and let's give it a friendly name. We'll call it Sales Report. Now let's go ahead and run that. And we'll head over to Zapier to set up our Zap now. So let's click make a zap and we'll select WP All Export Pro as our trigger app. Continue. Select your account. Continue. And we just created an export so we're good here. And continue. Okay, now our action app. So we'll start off with Dropbox here and we want to upload a file. Continue. Select your account, continue, and where do you want to put the file? I want to put it in the sales directory, and the file is actually the export file URL. So we'll continue here, and let's go ahead and run this test. Test works, okay, and we want to add a step. So here we will set up our Google Sheets. And we'll choose to create a spreadsheet row. And select your account. Now we need to go create a spreadsheet so that it can fetch one. So let's create a new sheet. Rename this up here to sales report. And then create the header. Date. Total sales. Okay, enter there and it's all saved so we can X that out now. Let's go back to Zapier and our sheet should show up here. And the worksheet will be sheet one. And for the date, we'll go into the export file and say export last run date. And total sales is going to be records exported. We'll continue there and go ahead and run the test. Okay, now we'll add our final step which is sending the email. So we will select Gmail here and we'll select to send email, continue, and select your Gmail account and I'm going to send this to myself so. and we'll scroll down here to the subject. We'll say total sales in the past week and grab the records exported there and in the body we'll put the same thing the records exported but we'll also add Dropbox file and we'll go in here to our second action and grab the share link 
from Dropbox and continue. We're going to skip this test and continue and name the zap. So this will be sales report and turn on the zap. Okay, now we can head back over here to our site and we'll go to manage exports and run the export. Oh, all orders. So I have to uncheck this just to test it out because I haven't had any new orders since the last export. So we'll run it. Okay, now we should have an email with that sales report. So I'll refresh here. There it is, total sales in the past week eight. And now we'll head over to our drive, open up our sheet, and there it is. There's the date, eight sales. This line was added by Zapier in the test. You can delete that if you want. So I'll exit out of here and go over to Dropbox. There is our sales report. So everything's running right. Our Zap is working. So now all we need to do is make this run automatically every week. So if you go back to Manage Exports, We'll first want to go into export settings and make sure that it's only getting new orders again. So we'll check that. Go ahead and save it. Now we'll go to cron scheduling on the right side. So on this page you'll find two URLs. The trigger script is the one that you'll want to set on a cron job to run as often as you want the export to run. So in our case we want it to run one time each week. So we'll grab this trigger and what we're going to use here is a service called EasyCron. Sometimes your web host will help you set up a cron job, but if not, you can use an external service like EasyCron. So I'm going to show you how that works. So let's go ahead and create a new cron job and put in the trigger URL. And we'll choose to run this every week. And we'll name this Sales Report Trigger and create cron job. Now we'll create another one, but first we'll go back here and grab the processing. This is the URL that makes the export finish once it's been triggered. So we want this one to run every two minutes. So we'll go back over here, create a new cron job. Processing every two minutes. And we'll call this one sales report processing. Create cron job. And that's it. That's how easy it is. So now that export will run each week and you'll get a sales report in your email and a new sheet in your spreadsheet as well as a Dropbox file. I think that covers everything. Thank you for watching.